everyone and welcome back. Today's video will be a little bit different. I will do a reaction video to uh, One Week in New Zealand by Nas Daily. Um, I really want to show, you know, different sceneries here in New Zealand, the culture, the people. Pero dahil kapapangan ako pala, hindi ako masyadong makagala. Um, anyway, Nas has been doing a lot of um, travel videos. At saka, feeling ko naman maganda yung take niya dun sa mga pinupuntahan niyang destination. So I thought, it would be a good idea um, to start with this reaction video as I share more information about how life is here in New Zealand. So I will write the link to the original video sa description ko below. So by all means, feel free to like and subscribe and share yung content sa um, channel ni Nas. Okay, so let's start watching. I have just arrived to the bottom of the world, the country of... Yeah! Where the word yes is... Yeah! And no is... No! And great is... <laughs> where I expected a lot of white people. I found them. But I also found this, 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 and these. Oh, I wait! I'm all... <laughs> excited. I'm a Filipino! <laughs> wait, lang, baka may kakilala tayo. Sinilip. Um, nga pala, going back to yung yes, yeah, na, no. Tapos meron din sila, yeah, na, no din yun. <laughs> from New Zealand. I think that's in Auckland. so liberal, women were the first to be able to vote in the world. Where this is the busiest street in Auckland. And where people have no problem walking barefoot and do this with their hands. Um, super totoo yun. Na-experience ko yung mga, uh, pagating ko dito, it was actually winter kasi ano yan eh, June, July. Um, and then yung mga bata, naglalakad na kapaalang. I suppose it's good for your health as well, di ko alam. Um, pero yun, pag pagdating nyo dito, baka makita nyo yung mga bata or minsan mga teenager na kaya pak lang sila. O, oh, di ba? I'm not sure about the hand sign though. I haven't seen that a lot. It's to express not sure what. Where chocolate is so good it tastes like heaven. And where water drains counterclockwise because it's the bottom of the world. That's one bite of New Zealand. That's one with it. So you did said I'm draining the water. Um oh wait, wait lang. Wait lang, mag comment mo na ako. Dun sa draining ng water, dun ko lang siya actually na realize na counter uh, na um, counterclockwise pala siya na iba pala siya um kumpara sa ibang country so ayun i don't know good to know nakatulong ba ito sa pag apply niyo mag New Zealand hindi pero again good to know okay day number 2 daw about the news as you know i come from the middle east a place where the news is a source of stress grampiness din ano <laughs> War is happening here, people dying there, this land is mine, this land is yours. It's not pretty. Hmm. But in New Zealand, it's a little bit more pretty. In a country where there's more sheep than humans, and that is far away from everything, you would expect the news to be a little bit different. Here's an example. Hello, my name is Josh, and in New Zealand, the following news articles are real. Flock of sheep stops car chase. Bad <laughs> baseball pitch triggers ball. Man busted for driving a picnic table while drunk. <laughs> so I do. Getting excited about the American stuff here. Yes. Future of golf course heading to court. Police find suspicious towel on the ocean and perfectly cut lemons wash ashore. In other countries, the news will stress you out. And in New Zealand, the news will chill you out. <laughs> Uh, sorry. <laughs> Super totoo din yun. Um, siguro ngayon, um, kasi this video I think was created parang mga three years ago, no 2017, ganyan. Um, syempre ngayon, um, you know, uh, marami na rin mga balibalita, um, na hindi masyadong kagandahan, mga petty crimes, ganyan. At saka yung, yung sa Christchurch nung last year, definitely, um, you know, which is you find worrisome din, ganyan. But yun nga, overall, yung news dito, ano siya, hindi siya ganun ka-stressful na gaya sa atin. I remember when I first arrived here noong 2012, I, I was living in a small town kasi dito sa New Zealand. Tapos yung na balita sa newspaper was about a dog. Sa headline siya ha, hindi siya yung, <laughs> hindi siya yung gitnang part ng paper or last featured part ng paper. Nato siya sa headline na yun nga, merong aso na nag-visit sa rest home and that dog is making people happy. O, di ba? <laughs> 
Okay, let's continue watching. And that's one minute. We'll see you tomorrow. Sports! There are two things New Zealand is known for. Well, well, Beautiful sports. scenery and extreme sports. Today's video is about... Oh my god. Extreme sports. Ah! Yeah, oh, nah. oh my god! Beautiful nature. Extreme sports. Welcome to New Zealand. <laughs> Welcome to New Zealand. Welcome to New Zealand. Welcome to New Zealand. So ayun, um, hindi kasi ako ano ma-outdoors na person na no. I prefer indoors, ganyan, mall, sine, yun lang <laughs> pinagkakaabalahan ko. Um but by all means if those things attracts you, you know, outdoors, extreme sports, then New Zealand is one of the places that you should go to. Um, at saka na-try ko lang nito dito para sailing, pero, you know, <laughs> medyo safe naman yun. Tsaka, ay, yun, hindi naman siya ganun ka-extreme. Anyway, let's continue watching. Hi! There are two things New Zealand is known for. Extreme sports and beautiful scenery. Today's video is about the beautiful scenery around here. Yay! Happy Tom! It's so beautiful. The Hobbit movie was filmed here. I've only been to Hobbit on twice. And we're not going to go to a beautiful farm with 13,000 sheep. Naming sheep, no? But it's not just what's above the ground that's beautiful, it's also what's underneath. A cave formed of limestone. Yes, Waitomo cave. On its ceiling that you can't Visit find that, guys. anywhere else in the world. Visit it. Cheers. That's in Hobbiton as well. That's New Zealand. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. Before I came to New Zealand, I only expected to see white people because it's New Zealand. Turns out New Zealand is not new. It used to be Aotearoa because it used to belong to these people, the Maoris, who for thousands um, of years. So I'm not sure about used to be Aotearoa pa rin yung pangalan niya <laughs> sa, sa Maori language, okay? And we still use that. Have lived in New Zealand with their own unique culture. Their hello looks like this. Honey! You only know a person if you share a breath with them. Their weapons are shaped like the bodies of their ancestors, and their body decorations are beautiful. This stands for mom, dad, Aww. children, nutrition, and protection. Yes. When Europeans came to New Zealand, the Maori population fell dramatically. But despite that, there are still people today that identify proudly and fiercely as Maori. Because a Maori is not a person determined by his looks or his skin color, but by his heritage, culture, language, and genealogy. That's what makes a Maori, Maori. As I sit here having a big... Um, so yun, totoo yun. Oh, wait lang, Nas. Ako muna. Ako naman, no. So, totoo yun. No? So, dito, um, um, yun nga, meron silang, meron, meron yung language nila, it's called Tereo Maori. Um, tapos, um, kaya nga, di ba, may Treaty of Waitangi. Di ba yung sa isa kong video about cap course? Sinigit ko pa din, pag na-nursing. Um, meron doon na parang, um, as part of the cap ng course nyo, is pag-aaralan din yung Treaty of Waitangi at saka cultural safety. Um, so, importante na maging familiar din tayo doon as nurses. Okay? Yeah! Yeah! I can't help but feel like I'm back in New York because New Zealand reminds me a lot I've of never been to New York States. so I wouldn't know Even though New Zealand drives on the left like the UK yes. has a UK flag on its flag and has yes. a UK queen yes. on its currency <laughs> it still reminds me less of Britain and 
more of the US. This is called the New Zealand dollar, not the pound. This game they call Soccer! I'm not football. This really? reminds me of San Diego. This really? city reminds me of New York City. Okay. The pine trees remind me of Utah. So for lakes like in Yellowstone, McDonald's drive uh -huh. like in Middle America. Need to McDonald's, but I want Macas. Parts of America, highways with big green signs like in all of America. And the like native Maoris remind me of the Native Americans. It almost feels like New Zealand is the smaller version of America, but with happier sheep, <laughs> tastier chocolate, and better universal healthcare. <laughs> Zing! <laughs> uh, I'm not sure about um, healthcare side on the United States, so anyway. It's my last day in New Zealand, and I decided to go skydiving. No, I haven't tried that. I, I am thinking, but I don't think I have the courage. This and this scenery exists here. That's why they filmed The Hobbit here. People. This guy, this guy, this girl, this girl, and these guys all live here in the country that belongs to these guys, the Maori, who still live here too. Sorry, Mom, I'm still calling. Culture. New Zealand is so chill that going around barefoot is okay, <laughs> yes. and green food throwing is a sport. <laughs> where perfectly cut lemons make the news, where bungee jumping and drift biking are considered normal, and where most importantly, water drains counterclockwise. <laughs> because New Zealand is at the bottom of the world and the top of my list of my favorite countries Aww. in the world. So, it. See you tomorrow. Ah! so you and I think it was a nice, um, positive video overall. Um, sana na enjoy nyo rin. Meron kayong tutunan kaunte about New Zealand. Um, lagay nyo lang sa comment section kung what are you most looking forward to see, um, experience, and meet maybe. I don't know. Anyway, yun lang muna from me. As always, I wish you all the best in your journey and I hope you'll have a blessed day. Matiwa!